Are you okay? Yes, honey, I'm fine. I promise. You aren't fooling me, Mom. You sound awful. How is school? What are your classes like this semester, kiddo? Don't try to change the topic, Mom. I don't want to talk about it. And I sure as hell don't want you worried when you need to be concentrating on your classes. So let's change the topic, okay? How do you feel? You are stubborn, you know. Yep, like my mom. What does it feel like, Mom? Well, for a few days after the chemotherapy, I feel pretty rotten. It's like I don't want to eat because I feel sick to my stomach and stuff. Is your hair... I mean, does it... Fall out? Yeah, baby. It was all coming out, but in different spots. It was really upsetting at first, because I had these bald spots all over my head, and then I just decided to shave it all and have it look neat instead of all blotchy. <sighs> Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I just... I hate that you have to go through this. It's not like they give you much of a choice. And the staff are wonderful at the hospital, honestly. They treat me really well when I go in for my... Mom, what is it? Oh, I just looked at the calendar and realized it was my birthday. I totally forgot. I know. That's why I was calling. I can get a ride home this weekend if you want me to, and... I was thinking I could take you out to dinner at that dim sum place you like, and then... No, sweetie, that's okay. I think I'll just stay home this weekend. But it's your birthday. That doesn't seem right. We always... I know, but not this year. Please, Megan. I'm just not up for it. So you'd rather be totally alone for your birthday? I don't believe that, Mom. It's the truth. I don't feel like going out. Well, you go out shopping, don't you? Actually, I haven't been. I've been ordering my groceries online. It's kind of cool because they deliver them and bring them right into the kitchen, which makes it a heck of a lot easier than going out and getting them myself. Plus, when you aren't home, I don't really cook that much. You should be cooking for yourself, whether I'm there or not, Ma. I don't mind a can of soup and a bagel or something light most nights. I don't have much of an appetite. I think I need to come home. I really wish you wouldn't. You've never said that before. Well, maybe I need to take care of myself right now, Megan. Megan, I... I gotta go, Mom. I guess I'll just call you later next week. Bye. Megan, wait. What if... What if is all I keep thinking about? What if I had never found the lump? What if I hadn't gone and gotten it checked out? I might never have gone if Megan hadn't made such a fuss about it, honestly. What if, what if, what if? This self-talking isn't helping. All up in my head. I wonder if it's like this for everyone else. This isn't fair. I don't smoke, I'm fit and I exercise regularly, I take good care of myself, I don't drink a lot, why did this happen? I keep asking that over and over again. When I consented to the health information exchange and provided our family history, I just, I just hadn't really stopped to think about how many people in our family had a history of cancer. I guess I pushed it out of my head. I'm so tired. Bad enough that I don't like what I see in the reflection, but now I'm worried about what other people are seeing too. I look tired and they stare. They try not to, but they can't really help it, tripping over themselves not to notice things like missing eyebrows and eyelashes. Good quality wigs do a lot, but people can still tell when you get up close. And I've given up trying to pretend. I'll just wear a scarf or hat now and give up trying to hide it. Medical history. I have to get Megan to create her patient health record too. It's so important and she doesn't know half of the family health history. 
She needs that information to be accurate. I can do that for her, help her with that. It would feel good to do that. It's so important. I don't want anyone to see me like this. If the boss calls or that annoyingly cheerful new human resource manager, I am going to lose my cool. Organizationally inconvenient for me to get sick? Too bad. It's my life we're talking about here, people. Productivity for me is eating a healthy meal today and not throwing up, if you get the picture. Most of the time, it still feels like a bad dream that's happening to someone else. My head's just not in it, not at all. It's such a relief that the information I provided in the patient health record and through the health information exchange. So hard to explain it to other people, but it feels good. Like all the information my doctor needs is there. I know this is going to be a long battle. I'm not going to get better overnight, but being able to see some of my information in the PHR helps me feel like I have a part in the process, that I have some control in all of this, because I should. It's my health. It's still my life after all. I want to have an active role in this. I just need to right now. I'm not great at this. You just need to know where to find stuff. It's not hard. You keep saying it's not hard. It's not hard for you is what you really mean. No, you just need to know where to look. Okay, I'm in. Now, open your search window and type breast cancer as your search criteria. Okay, done. What do you see? Wow. There are a lot of breast cancer groups in Second Life. I told you. I found them when I first went looking for the information, and we found the BreastQuest Tour. They are all cancer survivors, or families of cancer survivors. Or memorial groups and monuments to people who didn't survive. Yeah. There are a lot of really moving memorials to lost family members and friends. A lot of them. It's so sad. Speaking of family, have you gone to the doctor's office to set up your PHR? Well, I plan to. I just hate waiting in the doctor's office, Mom. You know, busy, busy. Excuse me? Too busy to take your own health care seriously? Pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not buying your excuse any more than you settled for mine. It's important, kiddo particularly since I can provide you with some of the information now. Don't talk like you're going anywhere anytime soon, okay? You shouldn't even be thinking that way. Sorry, sweetie. That's not what I meant. I just want you to have the same advantages of health information exchange so that your health records are safe and managed in a way that ensures you get the best care possible, no matter what. And the patient health record that PHR, it's really empowering to be able to see some of your information and get involved. Okay, I promise I'll go this weekend, Mom. Awesome. Now about these support groups in Second Life. Wouldn't you feel a bit weird showing up and sharing your personal stuff with total strangers? Or worse, it could be a room full of complaining people. I don't see how that would cheer me up. Relating to each other isn't like that, Mom. Come on. You are being so negative. The truth is that the best person to understand what you're going through is someone who is going through the same thing themselves, right? I suppose you are right. Imagine that. <laughs> By the way, I tweaked your profile a bit to make it easier to make friends. You did what? Oh, okay. Well... What if I don't meet anyone I like there? Or what if they don't like me? I can't imagine anyone not liking you, Mom. 
seriously. And if the first group you try isn't a good fit, keep exploring other groups and communities. Eventually, you are going to find one that you like. Did you notice the activities are different in each group? What do you mean? Well, this one group just gets together to talk once per week, while this group meets at a cafe and shares their poetry, which is themed on their experiences with breast cancer. I love poetry. I know. I thought of you when I first came across them. Let me get you the location of the cafe where they meet. When you get there, you can click on an information sign and get a note card, which will give you meeting dates and times so you know when to go in and catch them. Oh, they read their own poetry out loud? I haven't done that in ages. But you've been writing it. How did you know? You were snoring when I came home and you had a journal on your chest when you passed out. I took a peek. Your writing is really beautiful, Mom. I wish you wouldn't read it. I don't want you to see. What? That you're a human being? That you're scared? How could you not be scared right now, Mom? You don't have to be tough for me. I get it. All of it. How did I raise such a smart kid? I don't know. Maybe I was adopted. <laughs> Behave. Okay, I will check it out. Cool. Let me know how it goes. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. And, um... Megan, I love you, kiddo. I love you too, Mom. So much.